Officer Overton has been with SPD for two years, and Officer Walsh was with SPD for three and a half years, was a U.S. Army veteran, and was active in the Army Reserves. That's Springfield Police Chief Paul Williams during a press conference this morning announcing the death of Springfield Police Officer Christopher Walsh after he was shot when responding to a call last night. We just saw another cop car just one after the other just coming flying down the street and we had to pull over, continue, pull over, continue. Whenever we got up to the gas station, uh, it was just cop cars everywhere. Uh, there was like officers behind gas pumps with their guns drawn. Definitely a little scary whenever we drove past and went and checked on our mom and to see if everything was okay. It was definitely a little a little worrisome. Faith Barrett, who lives just down the road from the come and go where the shooting happened, originally planned to stop by last night to get a slushy, but didn't. We heard we heard some gunshots last night. My he, my husband did. I've met the man a couple of times at the come and go. He's very nice, who is a worker. He, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> he, uh, he was always so nice, and um, I'm very sorry for his loss, for his, his daughter, his whole family. Um, I really don't know really what else to say is all. It really breaks my heart that someone would just go out and just be rude and hateful. Just thinking, just why would you wake up one day and just be like, I'm going to go shoot all these people? There's really no need for that. You know, it's just really unfortunate that people had to lose their lives over someone's decision. And it's that, you know, that's just not fair. It's not fair to anybody, especially the families that were affected by it and, you know, friends and loved ones that were lost. You know, it's, that's not fair. There's also a fundraiser to provide relief to Officer Walsh's family. If you'd like to make a donation, the Springfield Police Officers Association asks that you do visit the downtown Metro Credit Union. And due to current health concerns, they're asking that you drop off your donation via the drive through or the overnight box. If you can, if you want to, you can find more information on the relief fund on our website, OzarksFirst.com. All right, Madison.